Let us continue with your ABC project. Click on the Insert button at the bottom of the Walls in Project screen and proceed to the Update Wall screen. This screen is what you might call the heart of the program. When working with the OS3DE program, you will find that you spend the majority of your time on this screen. It is where you do most of your takeoff from. You are now going to start your 10x10 wall takeoff and you are going to call it North Wall. Your cursor should now be flashing in the upper left corner in the Description field. This is where you will enter the description of what the wall is. You can identify your walls any way you like, but for the purpose of this project, we will call it North Wall. Note. You can move through the different fields on this screen by using the tab key on your keyboard as well as highlighting them with your mouse. Press the tab key three times and move your cursor to the wall height field. Once the field is highlighted in blue, you can enter your data. This wall is going to be 10 feet high. You can either type in the number 10 or use the up and down arrow buttons to the right of the field to set your height. Hit the tab key again and you are on the field to enter inches. Since the wall is exactly 10 feet, you are going to hit the tab key yet again and move to the wall length field. Set your length for 10 feet as well. Later, when you start to place walls on your floor plan, the length of the wall will be auto-populated. For the purpose of this walkthrough, you are going to enter the length manually. Next, you are going to enter the materials for this wall. I am going to have you start by entering the regular outside material. On the left side of your screen, beneath the wall height and wall length is the regular outside material button. This has an empty field to the right of it. This is the field in which your regular outside material will be listed. Click on the down arrow that is attached to the right side of this field. This action will open the Project Materials screen. This screen will list the materials that you selected earlier for your ABC project. You are going to select the modular brick. This can be done several ways. You can simply double click on the material that you want or highlight the material with a single left click and then click on the select button in the lower left corner of your screen. Once you have selected your material, the program will bring you back to the update wall screen. You can now see that the material IDM for modular brick that you selected is now in the regular outside material field. There is also now a graphic representation on the screen of the material that you selected. Let us proceed to the Cavity Insulation Parging Flashing button. This button is located on the lower left side of your screen. Click once on this button and it will open the Update Wall Cavity Insulation and Parging screen. This screen has some selections that are self-explanatory, such as airspace, cavity fill material, and weep holes. Feel free to pause the walkthrough and hit the F1 key to gain a better understanding of some of its features. Moving on. Located in the lower portion of this screen is the base flashing field. Click on the down arrow to the right of the empty field and you will return to the project materials screen. Select the flashing material from your material list. The program will return you to the Cavity Insulation and Parging screen. You now see that your base flashing material is listed in the Base Flashing field. Click on the OK button at the bottom of the screen. Remember, OK saves your work. You now return to the Update Wall screen. The flashing material will now be listed on this screen under the Cavity Insulation Parging Flashing button. It will be calculated with the modular brick for the north wall that is 10 feet long and 10 feet high. 
Now we are going to procure our regular inside material for this north wall. Locate the regular inside material button at the top right side of your screen. Click on the down arrow next to the open field. This will once more return you to the project materials screen. Select the CMU material that you had brought into the ABC project earlier. Once selected, you will return to the Update Wall screen. You should now have Mod Brick flashing and 8 inch CMU in your project. The last item on our list is Wire. Directly below the regular inside material field is the Wire field. Click on the down arrow to the right of the wire field. This will bring you back to the project material screen. Select the wire that you brought into your project earlier and you will once again return to the update wall screen. The wires selected will now be in your wire field. The vertical spacing for your wire is listed directly below the wire field. The wire has a vertical spacing default of 16 inches. The spacing can be manually changed by simply clicking on the arrow boxes to the right of the field. You may also change the default settings for spacing to reflect your standards. We will go over default settings later in the walkthrough. Your 10 by 10 wall with brick, block, wire, and flashing is now complete.